In this video, I will show you how to schedule tasks in command line in Windows using to get tasks. Why do we want to schedule tasks in Windows? Sometimes maybe we need to FTP files to another computer, for example, every day from 11 p.m. Or maybe we need to check new file files created every day and want to reduce the result to a log file or maybe we want to dump MySQL database every day or maybe we can need to we need to check any mail where run in schedule so first we can use the sked test slash question mark to get the help menu So we open a command prompt in Windows. Command prompt. So we run this one. So you can see here, you can create a new schedule task. You can delete it. You can query it. You can change. You can run. So most users to create and query. Okay. Now you can use first. We try to query. It. So what's run? In schedule in our computer. This is the list, this is the workbooks. So let's run this one. Let's query it. What's the schedule run in local computer in detail? So you can see here, it's a lot of schedules. So important things you need to check is who's the author. So this is also is Microsoft Corporation, it should be fine. And you also need to run the start date and end date. So this is every day, every one day. For example, another program run in here also is thematic and start day. Start time end date. There's no here, so it means it's not running. So there's a long list. You can check it. So now I will introduce you how to create a schedule test for your purpose. I give you an example. FTP example. So for example, I have a FTP one dot tx. T. This is the script, the file for FTP. For example, I want to open a computer, a port, a computer. This is you can put your computer name. I don't want to show this IP, so I just use star. So you can put your username, password. Then you can, for example, I want to. This is a local. Go to my local directory. LCD. This is the remote directory CD. So I want to put my old SQL dump file, start SQL, and put a yes here. And last one is by this FTP. So I want to run, uh, create an executable file. For example, here I got change the FTP .pet. So I just FTP minus S, and this is for FTP. FTP one dot TST is for FTP. That means is all this file will input to FTP and run this one script. So this is ultimately top that is is executable. Yeah. So how do I run this one? So I go back here. Schedule create 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 a uh, schedule here. TN means you need after after TN use the test name. Let's just define it's called my FTP. TR means the command you want to run. Search TR. For example, I want to run my script under SQL down. This is my executable script. You said dot bed is ultimately executable. And SC is here. Schedule. Schedule. This schedule is daily. ST is the start time, start time. So it means every day 
11 o'clock this is the 58 and I will run this FTP uh, uh, this is script this script the purple is run this FTP command this FTP command means the open uh, FTP address and type username and password use the script and put transfer the SQL file to remote computer this remote computer of course you will change username and password to for your remote computer this is your remote computer's IP this is your password username and password in the script so that means each day you transfer a file to the remote computer FTP file So in summary, we can use get task to run a schedule in the Windows. So you can de design different script, executable script for your purpose. Thanks for your watching.